up everybody my name is Mike Brown aka Review King MB and here's a film that I have always been aware of it was always on my to-do list to eventually someday one day get to and watch but I just got done watching save the last dance save the last dance is a 2001 film that was directed by Thomas Carter and it, the reason why I never, never saw this movie, because this is a long time of me just never getting to it, is because, I don't know, I, I don't have a good reason. My girlfriend, though, was the one who said, I want to watch this movie right here, right now. And, well, because I usually get her to watch whatever the hell I want to watch, I acquiesced, and I'm quite glad that I did. Because I really enjoyed this film. The plot is we meet Julia Stiles as Sarah, who she does ballet. It's very important to her. It's what her life is all about at this point. And at the very, very beginning, practically the opening credits, her mom dies in a car accident because she made a promise to her to be there at her ballet audition. And she was rushing and she died. Julia Siles uh, has to go now and live with her father over by the south side of Chicago. <laughs> you could probably guess what we're dealing with here. She goes to an all black, basically predominantly black school and area, and she comes to meet Derek. Derek, played by Sean Patrick Thomas. The two of them start dating, start a relationship. And it then becomes them dealing with the outside opinions of various people. And also whether or not she's going to go back to ballet. Now what I thought of State of the Last Dance was... I, I mentioned earlier, I said I really enjoyed this film. And I did. It's one of those movies that I think I always knew, uh, judging from the cast and judging from uh, the trailers that I had seen, I would probably enjoy it. But I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did, I think. First of all, Julia Stiles, this was a period where she was everywhere, right? She was all in these teen romantic comedy type films. And I like her in this role. I like that she, basically what her character, not only what she's going through with her mom dying, but I liked seeing her reaction to be placed in this environment, in this school surrounded by these people she she doesn't really back down from people who give her crap because she's white she's like the only white girl here uh, you know she's getting it from so many different girls and and people who are judging her off of first glance and I like that she stood up for herself for the majority of the time I like how she became interested too in the hip-hop culture if you want to call it that, her and Derek, the two of them going back and forth, him teaching her how to dance, and I, I liked all of that. Uh, Derek, played by Sean Patrick Thomas, he's one of those actors that I think, what happened to him? Where has he been? He too was in a lot of things around this time as well, uh, but he was good in the movie. I like that he, as his sister puts it, he's one of the few black dudes in this area who's not doing drugs, not having babies and running off on them. He's trying to make something of himself. He's trying to go to college. He wants to become a doctor. He, he's trying to be all about that. He has his best friend, Malachi, played by uh, Fredro Starr. I, wasn't he in that group, Onyx, the rap group? He, of course, is in that drug scene. He, of course, is in the... the the bad stuff and he's constantly trying to get Derek to go along with him so I like that I like that you know I guess I just wasn't expecting so much of of this story being told uh, because again I just I wasn't quite sure what I was about to get Carrie Washington plays Derek's sister uh, Chenille and I really like Kerry Washington in this movie. I think even as young as she is here, she's a great actress. I like that she almost immediately 
came to Julia Siles' aid and became her friend, and the two of them bonded, and it wasn't about race to her, and, and she welcomed her in and tried to even get her to fit in with them and whatnot. So, yes, even though she has a child, she's in high school, she has a baby, the baby's father, there's a lot of drama going on there. There's one scene that rubbed me the wrong way with Carrie Washington's character. It's something that she says to Julia Stiles. She kind of goes off on a rant. Came out of nowhere, wasn't quite in character with what we knew from her before, but at the same time, I guess she was going through some stuff. She took out her anger on poor Sarah. And so, yeah, but other than that, I thought her character was great. A lot of the, the supporting cast, like for example, Bianca Lawson plays Nikki. She is Derek's ex-girlfriend. So, of course, when she sees Derek hanging out with a white girl, Julia Siles, she instantly has a problem with it. it. Instant beef between the two of them. Any any chance that she gets, she gets in her face, tries to embarrass her, tries to make her look bad. And, and you see that she's coming from a point of view of she's black, so she resents a white girl coming in and taking one of the good black dudes and leaving nothing for them. Don't they have enough power? And of course, she's going about it the wrong way. Of course, she's a total bitch through most of this movie. But, and I didn't like the way that she said it, but what she was saying, I kind of, a small percent of me understood, I guess where she was coming from. Terry Kinney plays Julia Stiles' father, and at first I didn't know what to make of him because she hadn't seen him in God knows how many years. He wasn't really involved. His place she just wasn't equipped to really have her stay there. She's sleeping on the couch in the living room because he's taking forever to fix the room up that's supposed to be hers. And there was one scene where he got upset with her because she didn't want to have TV dinner, so he just kind of storms off of work but there was one scene when he realizes and sees that she's dating a black dude that she's dating Derek and I was waiting I was sitting there because I, I wanted a reason give me a, a clear-cut reason not to like her father and he didn't pull a race card he didn't get upset he was understanding he just kind of turned out to be a guy who was trying to do the right thing trying to be a father to her and I thought, wow, <laughs> where did that come from? I ended up kind of liking his character overall. The soundtrack for this movie, like I said, you have all these scenes of Derek uh, showing Julia Stiles uh, the moves and, and, and how to loosen her, her body up because she's so used to being stiff with ballet and, and it gives her more of an edge. And the soundtrack, the music playing, it's a lot of songs that I grew up on, a lot of songs that I knew in an instant. So I loved it, I enjoyed it, I had a good time. But the story was great, I thought the actors and the characters were great. I ended up really enjoying, really appreciating Save the Last Dance. Seeing a movie where a black dude is dating a white girl, and having the movie almost be about that, and what comes with that. I think that resonated too because I, I, you don't see that a whole lot. Uh, the one scene where they're on the train and the older white woman is watching them, giving them the dirty look because of what they are, right? And so they start messing with her and they start f overly flirting and PDA in front of her to piss her off. And it works. I quite enjoyed that. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you too have seen Save the Last Dance. Did you like it as well? Can you believe it took me this long to finally watch it? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!